All right, so this is gonna be the last video and, la and the ending of the game. So I'll share the last few tidbits of the book as we uh, come to them here. Here it is. Here's where they uh, came in on the boats, brought Eco in on the boats. Here's one of the boats. It's a giant ass boat. Look at that. That is an impressive boat. Fine craftsmanship. Connection error has occurred. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go up there. But you can see it right up there. It's right up there, the sword. Get stuck. He's stuck on the staircase. Here we go. I have the power! And in the novel, uh, when he picks up the blade, he looks at the uh, reflection in the blade, and he actually sees the lives of all the sacrifices when they were, you know, growing up as children. It's actually a really nice moment in the in the book. It's, it's I like that it's an extra touch that uh, you don't get in the game, which is pretty nice. It just sees all their uh, all the joys and stuff that they experienced when they were alive. And of course, they're the cre the black creatures now. Royal arms. All right, let's go. Got Ozuma's sword. Here's the uh, elevator we took at the beginning of the game. They took us up in the beginning of the game to get to the uh, room with all the sarcophagi. Which again, this sequence in the in the book differs a little bit. As we get into this room here. One here first. All right, up we go. Oh, really? Didn't didn't this whole thing lower once we? I don't know. Anyway, there is our uh, the sarcophagus that we popped out of, right? All right. So when you walk over here, as you can see, you can see that they're huddled around, and they're huddled around a stone yorda. Now here's where the book is different from what's happening right here. I'm gonna run up here and slash the hell out of these guys. Only takes one hit now. But in the in the book, you actually Eco goes and instead of attacking the 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 black creatures, shadow creatures, he goes and destroys all of the sarcophagi. He starts slashing away at the sarcophagi because they were they were just uh, poor, unfortunate sacrifices like him. So he basically goes to, you know, free them of their imprisonment, I guess you could say. Look at that! Whoa! Triple kill. I think it was triple. Basically, just have to do this until all of the uh, things are lit up. I don't know how many there are. It's probably like 50 or something. Come on, guys. This guy's coming down. All right. 
How many more we got here? Such a great soundtrack. Come on now, you guys are you guys are being too tricky. Also, if you're going for the two hour thing, man, it, that could really this could really mess you up depending on how long it takes to take out all these guys. How many more? I got a couple more. Come on. Well, probably more than a couple, but... I missed him completely. <gasps> Can't hit any of them. <sighs> this guy's just running. Is he the last one? He might be the last one. Where is he? There's a couple more. He's up there. Where the hell are these guys? Oh, it's okay. It's done, I guess. It's delayed for some reason. Time for the final battle, or so I should say, really, the really only boss battle in the game. It's kind of funny that they went from having only one boss battle in this game to having nothing but boss battles in Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, Yorda. is doomed to a life of being pooped on by pigeons. It's very sad. Here we are. And a preemptive strike! Nope, no one's here. We're gonna hide behind her, uh, her throne. Alright.
根拠祖前地権利もしもなに聞こえちゃう He loses a horn. Nikagi Nako Hiyoksi. This is such a cool battle here at the end. Okay, pick this up. Now, the sword will protect you here, as well as these, uh, these idle things. In the book, it's actually kind of interesting that uh, the sword gets knocked out of his hands and the um, the shadow creatures come and protect him and create like a wall so that he can get to the sword because there are other sacrifices like him and he helped them, you know. There we go, whoa. There's a sword, I could have gotten it there. But... Boom. Off in that direction now. Where is it? The heart, the only one you have to worry about is the last one, because the last one it goes so far away. Last one here. This is. I'm gonna have to get as close as I can to it because this is not. Oh no, it's in the wall again. What if they added to this? There's less to this. Huh. I don't know. I thought it was only like three or four times, but maybe it's different in the international version. Okay, now our barrier's down. This is the hardest part right here. Because the sword's way, way the hell over there. Okay. And I messed it up. See, because I didn't know where it was. Didn't know where it was. That sucks, because you have to start all over again. I thought it was to the left, but it was to the right. Okay, we can skip this. Whoops. I guess it's right back from where it was in the beginning. Pick it up. Oh boy. Pick it up right away. Alright, her barrier is gone. We gotta come this down here. We gotta come down here, hide behind this thing. And basically, we gotta go as far as we can.
There we go. Ugh, see? You really have to get the last second. Well, okay, that was nice. <laughs> we missed. the other horn ouch and I'm actually gonna be uh, quiet here for the rest of this because this is uh, really probably one of the most beautiful endings in any video game in my opinion so here we go I don't remember the music coming on this early, but...
Oh, a double rainbow. Double rainbow. Now it just goes back and shows you all the uh, some of the sequences throughout the game as it plays the credits here. Fumito Weda. Let's hope he can do it. They can do it again with uh, Last Guardian. Let's hope. Oh, and also, uh, the in the book uh, after this is all uh, this has all happened, and you know the curse is broken, whatever the castle disintegrates. Uh, Toto, who, if you remember, I mentioned had found the Book of Light and brought it to the Elder, and that was how Eco got his special mark. Uh, Toto, who had turned to stone uh, in his bed as he was recovering, he. Uh, he, uh, is no longer stone. He comes back to life, basically. He's no longer frozen. I love this song too, this song is great. The art style for this game is just amazing. There really is nothing else like it. Even though Shadow of the Colossus looks so similar, it just it just was missing something. In my opinion, anyway, this game just had something special. Presented by Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated. Wow, 2002. Man, 2002 the game came out. That was so long ago. Wow. Time has flown. Here we go. I love this sequence. This was like... I did not expect this the first time you play the game. There's actually another little uh, prologue. Or epilogue, I mean. Look at this man. 
Gorgeous white sands. Now, I don't know if, uh... I'm gonna try something. Because there was a special thing in the, uh... In the European version that was not in the U.S. version, I'm gonna see if it's uh, if it's here. You if it's, you have to beat the game a second time or something to get it. But we're gonna have a little look around here. And have a look around. Soldier boy up on this beach. So I think it's supposed to be up here, around here, if it's... If what I'm thinking is here... Is here. Let's see. Alright, you can't jump up there. Ah, there's a tree over here. I think this is this is maybe where it's gonna be. Okay, I'm stuck. That's not a thing you can pass through. Oh no. Huh. Huh. Also, they changed. used to say Finn. It used to say Finn at the end in the US version. What I was looking for was actually the, um, it was actually a watermelon. You can take a watermelon to her and get a watermelon ending. They're eating watermelon together. But, um, I don't know why it wasn't there. I don't know if you have to beat the game one, one time or something. I don't know. It's weird. I might not doing it, might not have been doing it properly. But, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and save the game. And, uh, that'll do it. Uh, also, at the end of the book, uh, Eco actually could not remember anything. Like, the girl looked familiar to him, but he didn't have his memory, at least at the time. It didn't come back immediately. But, uh... Yeah, that's the end of the game. I hope, uh... Oh, look at that. It has the, uh... The little symbol there at the end. What happens if you resume game now? I'm guessing it takes you into the new game plus. But, uh, anyway. It takes you to the main menu. Thank you for watching, and, uh... My girlfriend ends up seeing this. I love you, darling. And I uh, hope uh, anyone who watched enjoyed hearing about the uh, the novel. I tried to be as concise as possible. I'm sure I wasn't. But uh, it was really fun. It was fun to see this in HD. One of my favorite games. It was a good experience. And, uh, and there's the music video starting up. But uh, that'll do it, and uh, I guess stay tuned for the next. And there he is next to Ozma. That's kind of that's a really cool opening, actually. But um, stay tuned for next time. The next thing I should be playing is probably going to be uh, Life is Strange Episode Four. I'm really excited about that. After the ending, the Episode Three was uh, pretty pretty shocking. So look forward to that. And uh, once again, thank you for watching. Take care. La vida se. Hasta la vista. Whatever else. Finn. Bye.